Do you know how to change a tail light lens? It's about the same in any vehicle. Yeah, I know it seems like kind of a, uh, a no-brainer task, but there may be people that really don't understand or know how to change these, and today I want to show you how. Follow along to the end. On this 85 um, F-150, there's four screws that have to come out to get this lens out. On newer models, these two screws have hooks, in the, and then you have, instead of the screws, but then on the back side you have the screws that you take out, and you can go like this and pull that right out. On, on the older models and some of the other models, you may have to get in the trunk, lift the carpet over, and from the back side, there should be a couple of bolts or nuts or screws. You listen, loosen, and you can push that right out. But on this particular model, you have four screws, Phillips head screws, and it's as simple as just running those out. And I'll show you here in real time just how that works. Uh, for removing the screws, if you have a power screwdriver, you can use that, but I certainly don't recommend it with a... Um, a, uh, and reinstalling simply because sometimes these can get pretty brittle. This particular one is new, but it's still brittle and you wouldn't want to use power to screw that in. So here's two screws here. Now I'll show you the two screws on the other side. You can see the two screws here. You have one here and one right here. And what I'm going to do is just run those out get in here you can see what I'm doing don't want to get in your way so you can see it these back here the screws are a little bit different they have a flatter head on it to hold on the metal the two on the outside are usually chrome or stainless steel because they, they show and you want that to look as nice as it can. So let's get this one out. You can see that lens is loosening right up and the lens is out almost. Now I'll show you how to remove the bulbs. Let me get this back out of the way. Usually you have enough wire that you can pull it up, but the, the way you get these bulbs out is you just push down a little bit and turn, and they come right out, at least on these models. Other models might be just a little different. And see that comes right out, and there you have it. You have the lens. Now to put it back together, you just do the reverse, you put that in. By the way, this has different size notches on it, so you can know right where it goes. And turn that in just like that. And you can see that this one has a wider slot notched here, so it goes into the wider end right there. Put that in and give it a half a turn. And then you just carefully work it back into place. What I like to do is put the back screws in first and I, what I normally do is just get them started. Sometimes you, it's hard to see exactly where the holes are, but for the most part it works pretty good. Right now I don't have enough light to see where I am. And you want to make sure you get those in the slot. Sometimes you have to get a little pick and you have to work that in so you can find that hole and make sure it's close. And then just start the screw enough that you know it's started. And we got the top started, it's going in good. Got the bottom started, it's going in good. Then what I usually do is I move to the other side and I, I 
repeat that process. I don't tighten anything up to begin with uh, because you want to make sure that your screws get started nicely before you snug anything up. And this goes, this holds true on all models because uh, if you start to tighten these up, you, uh, you may be out of line on one of them just enough that you can't get it started and it causes some issues. Now those snugged up, now I can go back here and snug these up. And there you have it. So that took about 10 minutes in real time to do that, put it, take it out completely and put it back in. Even counting the time it took me to go get this pick, all you need to, for this project is a pick and a Phillips screwdriver. We'll call this complete. I know that seems simple, but there's people out there that may not understand or know how to do that. And, and it is a simple process. Anyone can do it. If you have uh, comments you'd like to share or anything you would like to share about your projects like this, go ahead and do that. And appreciate those comments. And if you, you like what I bring to you in this channel, I'd encourage you to subscribe. If you want to hear more about this truck and some of the projects that I've done with it, you can uh, find the video where I remove this bed and take uh, all the rust off the frame, which was very, very little, cleaned it up and put the bed back on. You can find that video right here. I'd encourage you to watch that it's, if you enjoy seeing work done on old trucks. Can it be fixed? Sure it can. Can you fix it? You're darn right you can. Until the next 